The deckhand on the ship ended up in the river, tethered to the messenger line. As we let the lines go, I turn and I see the guy, and he had the line actually tied around his hand. That was it, it pulled him right into the river. The pilot couldn't see him, so I was having to relay what was going on, what he was doing. We were waiting on a different job. Over the marine radio, we heard, man in water, man in water. And they immediately jumped into action, got into the boat. They didn't know what they were getting into. They didn't know who was in the water. They didn't know if it was one of us, if it was you know, somebody from the ship, from the dock. Well, I was the third tug on pushing on the ship that Captain Burns struck. This was the pilot on and heard something, man overboard, man overboard. My crew went out on deck and uh, set up for it. And as we came in alongside the ship on the inside of the dock, my crew was there ready and waiting. Our engineer ended up throwing a life ring to the man that had fallen overboard. What we did from there was run him down the side of our boat where me and another uh, trainee that were on the boat ended up setting up our uh, ladder and uh, hooked it to the, our side of the boat so that way he could climb up. And then we got next to the Port Hudson. They put him on our uh, boat and then we brought him back to shore and called an ambulance for him and uh, he seemed to be in good spirits. On May 23rd, 2019, the combined efforts of Captain Vern Streckfuss, the captain and crew of the Port Hudson, and the mooring launch and dock crews resulted in the recovery of a man overboard from the Mississippi River during dangerous high water conditions. While the motor vessel Bow Force was getting underway from the ADM AMA facility on the morning of May 23rd, 2019, a crew member from the cargo ship fell overboard into the Mississippi River. Those present expertly coordinated rescue efforts to maneuver into position to aid the man overboard and swiftly recover him onto the Port Hudson. The man overboard was then safely transferred to a mooring launch and eventually to the St. Rose Mooring Barge where emergency medical services were waiting to treat the man's injuries. The timely response, vigilance, clear communications, and professionalism demonstrated by all those present here today and some who are not that are engaged in other important activities uh, were both ind indicative of hours of training and preparations and ultimately resulted in the saving of a mariner's life on the river that day. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard, I greatly commend you for your preparedness, situational awareness, and willing to assist those in need. Thank you all so much. It's an amazing effort. It was definitely a team effort. You know, it takes a lot of people to especially rescue somebody out of the Mississippi River. It's something that, you know, when most people go in, they don't come back out. Just an incredible rescue, and I want to thank you all for being, number one, well-trained to do that, willing to do it, and did it in a timely manner. You're saving lives out there, which is uh, the Coast Guard's mission. On the job or off the job, if they're, if they're on the river, they keep their eyes and ears. Uh, open for, for anybody and everybody out there in regards to safety. I give kudos to everybody on that job. They played equal parts in the event and without each and every one of them communicating and working together, uh, we may have been one less mariner on the Mississippi River that day. Our training here is wonderful. We do uh, man overboard drills once a month and fire drills once a month and we sit down with the crew and we work it out. They had all 21 year old young men on there and they knew what to do. They went out there and they did their work because that's how we train out here.